Today on Be Something Wonderful, the fastest, simplest, and most direct way to manifest anything. I am your host, Tom Karen, and this is the Be Something Wonderful studio of higher consciousness, where we help you level up and become the best version of yourself. Creators, good morning and welcome back to the studios of Be Something Wonderful. Big discussion yesterday with one of you who said, Tom, you know, after years on this journey of reality creation, of consciously creating her own reality, right? After years of, of learning techniques and different processes, studying different teachers, trying to, to manage uh, her thoughts and feelings and, and feel better and, and, and uh, work on her attitude and all of this, she goes, it, it, after watching your video, she found us about eight months ago. So she's been binge watching our, our channel. And she goes, it, I, got, I really got the idea that it's my awareness of being first. This idea, we're going to talk more about this. And, and she actually pointed to a video where I talk about the healing when Jesus heals the centurion's servant, right? When, when the centurion says it to Jesus, I'm not worthy to have you under my roof, but just say the word. This really resonated with her, that she never enjoyed the processes, right? It was years of, of she manifested plenty of things, right? She was creating her own reality, but it, she said it always seemed hot and cold or on and off or, or waiting and then, and then it happens and then, or then nothing happens or then it manifests, but then the opposite comes up. All of this sort of, she said, said it felt like there was nothing consistent with it. And then I was always searching for the next process, trying to find out what I did wrong or work on my moods or my thoughts and feelings, right? And try to control those. But what she really got is that it's about being aware and conscious of already being that person you desire to be first. First seek the kingdom, and then you can enjoy any process or technique that resonates with you. She said, I'm finally having fun again with the processes and techniques. I'm really enjoying it, and I'm not measuring things by what's going on out there. I'm measuring, about, I'm measuring it within by who I am. I know that's all that matters. And now I can enjoy it and I can let the thoughts and feelings be whatever they are. Enjoy when I have those highs, but don't condemn myself or feel that I'm doing something wrong when I don't feel my best. This is powerful. It was a really powerful discussion. We're going to hit this today and more. The fastest, simplest, and most direct way to manifest anything you want is to just say the word. Like, like the centurion said to Jesus, just say the word and my servant is healed. Remember, you play all the parts. Jesus as I am awareness, the centurion and the servant of the body, right? Representing the body. I'm healed. I'm whole. I'm complete. I'm fulfilled. That's what that means. Just say the word. And, and that's why Jesus said, I am the way, because that is the simplest, most direct way to manifest anything to already be conscious of being and having those things that you want and desire. I am that which I imagine, assume, affirm, and desire to be. There's no process or technique more powerful and practical than that. She used that word practical, said, you know, it really is practical. And I've talked about many times when I've answered that question that there's nothing practical, practical about knowing that you're pure spirit, that you're pure I am awareness having a physical experience. But actually, declaring yourself and just saying the word is the most powerful and practical way to manifest anything. I am already that which I desire to be. Then, sure, the, the processes and techniques are powerful because they put your attention on that identity, on that reality that is now your choice. It puts your attention on that preferred reality, not by trying to keep it uh, uh, struggling to keep focused on it, but because that's your choice, that's your preference. So that's what the, and you can have fun with those techniques now. And then you can even allow all the thoughts and feelings or, or, or things you want to do or not do, just, just be there, just following the script, knowing that you're inserting a new film role, that you're, that you're creating a new reality, a new identity, 
as you, as you move through the, the current 3D physical experience. This is powerful. That's what faith is, right? It's more than just mere belief. It's the essence or substance of that which is believed. Scripture points to this. In other words, faith is your I am awareness. It is already being aware that you already are that person you desire to be. That's the substance. That's why it's beyond believing in it. It's, it's the awareness of it that is the faith. It's the evidence and conviction. That's why Scripture says now faith is the substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen. Your faith is the evidence. You're, in other words, your awareness that you're already that, the word, I am, is the evidence, is the conviction, is, is the, the proof that you're already that which you desire to be. That's powerful, right? You don't have to work hard or do anything to be who you really are. And you are that I am awareness, I am, right? I am is absolute faith and conviction despite any doubt, fear, or feeling of unworthiness. This is clear when the centurion says to Jesus, Lord, I'm not worthy for you to come under my roof, but just say the word and my servant will be healed. In other words, remember, you're the servant, you're the centurion, you're the I am awareness. In other words, I'll, I'll see myself as that new identity in that new reality, healed, whole, complete, and fulfilled as I always am. Just say the word. Yeah, they, there's feelings of unworthiness. Yeah, there's some doubt and fear, but I'm just going to say the word. No matter how unworthy the physical you feels or how much the physical mind doubts or fears or worries, just say the word. I am. It's an absolute and instant manifestation of your wish fulfilled. It's the ultimate creative act of declaring and claiming yourself to be whole, complete, healed and fulfilled no matter what. It's instant because I am is only here and now. All realities are simultaneous. You are the, the collection, the superimposed version of all infinite images, identities, versions of you. And you declare what focus you're going to have in that, in that awareness, in that multidimensional you, within that multidimensional you. You declare it by saying, just saying the word. Who are you? Who and what are you conscious of being? That's powerful. The chosen, this is Jesus to his disciples. Right before, during Passover or right before Passover, as Jesus is entering the gates of Jerusalem, right, on the, on the donkey, right? But before he goes, before they start down to the gates, Jesus says this to his disciples, to his followers. This is your I am awareness. This is you and you. Right? No matter what happens this week, in other words, remember Passover, the metaphysical meaning of that is passing over from one state to another, one state of consciousness to another, one identity or reality to another, passing over from that unwanted, unfulfilled, no longer preferred state to your ideal state of being or to that ideal state of consciousness where all your wishes are fulfilled, where everything you desire is already yours. That's what Passover means. So whatever happens during this, as you declare, as you imagine, affirm and assume your wish fulfilled, as you, as you embody the processes that you, that you enjoy, just like this creator who I talked with yesterday saying, I'm really enjoying the processes now because before that it was hot and cold or on and off. She was manifest. She's a powerful creator. She has created a lot in her life. She acknowledges that. But she felt that it was always effort. It was always hot and cold and, and sometimes good and sometimes bad. It wasn't consistent. And, it, and she goes, it always felt like I was trying too hard or looking for another process or trying to control my moods or my thoughts and feelings. And she goes, I get it now. I really understand what it means to seek the kingdom first, right? Or just say the word. So it's no matter what happens this week, as you're affirming, as you're, as you're joyfully embodying this new identity, this new reality, these processes and techniques that you love, right? right? As you, no matter what happens this week, no matter what you see or feel or think or do, in other words, no matter what the changing appearances are showing you, the, the shifting emotions, the, the changing thoughts, right? Or what, or what you're doing or not doing, I want you to know that in this world, 
I loved you as my own. Very powerful here. Look at the tense. I loved you. That's Jesus leaving that old, the, the son of man, leaving the physical son of man, that, that, that physical experience and, and entering that higher experience of the ideal as the son of God, right? Moving to that higher ideal, you moving to that desired state or desired re reality, creating a new physical experience, right? I want you to know that in this world, in this physical experience, I loved you as my own. In other words, I was one, I'm one with you, that I am awareness is one. The Son of Man is one with the Son of God. That's what that is. No matter what you see, those changing appearances and circumstances, no matter what you think, or no matter what you feel, those temporary emotions, no matter what you think, those intrusive thoughts and triggers, no matter what you do or don't do, your reactions or the processes or techniques or what's happening in the script, none of that matters. You are the love and awareness within which these changing conditions and appearances take place. They don't matter. They don't mean anything. I am your beingness or your awareness is all that matters. That's why. Just say the word. That was powerful. So the whole idea of how and what, if you notice, Jesus never answers those questions. How do I do it? What do I do now? Right? Because it's not the processes or techniques, the processes or techniques that create or manifest anything. It's you as that I am awareness. That's why Jesus talked in parables and pointed back to your beingness. It doesn't mean you don't use processes and techniques. They can be very fun as you put your awareness on it. Because Jesus prayed, right? That's a process. But the idea is, even when, if you remember, Jesus would all, wouldn't answer directly. Even when he was talking to Nicodemus, Nicodemus and saying that unless you're born again, you cannot enter the kingdom of God. And Nicodemus is asking, well, how? How can that be? How can I, how can I be born again in my mother's womb? Right? Jesus doesn't even answer that directly. He just says, unless you're born again, you cannot enter the kingdom of God. Right? And then when his disciples asked him, how do you increase our faith? Or how do we increase our faith? Jesus answered, if you had the faith of a mustard seed. In other words, it's not about that. It's not about the how or the what. It's about who. Who are you? The processes are powerful. And again, I'm always saying the processes and techniques are powerful. They put your attention and awareness on already being and having that which you desire to be and have. Right? It's, it's like, a, it's like the, the whole purpose of prayer. Right? It puts your attention on already feeling that gratitude and love that you already are. Right? Becoming that. And, and, this, and then it says here in Matthew 8, 13, after the, the centurion said that to Jesus, just say the word. It's a, and the servant was healed at that very moment. In other words, it's instant. It's instant when you step into that awareness of who you really are. Right? No matter how many processes you learn or success stories you hear, we talked about that yesterday, that she said, you know, and, and I was also kind of hooked on chasing the next success story, even though I've had a lot of them. She, this is what she said. I've had, she had a lot of stories, right, of, quote, successful manifesting, but she realized none of that matters, right? Otherwise, I'm just, this, I'm just trying to make an effort to manifest things or create a reality where it's hot and cold or where sometimes it's working and sometimes it doesn't, it's not working. And I'm, I'm even getting hung up on my own success stories. So no matter how many success or processes you learn or success stories you hear or things you manifest, Nothing really changes until you just say the word. Wow. This was her experience. I mean, manifested a lot of things, but it didn't matter. It used to, learned a lot of processes, but it didn't matter. Heard a lot of success stories and, and have, has a lot of success stories, but it doesn't matter until you're, do you just say the word, till you step in, find that kingdom, find out who you are, and then everything else is added to you, right? The question, the question, whom do you seek, is asked by Jesus, your I am awareness, throughout the Gospel of John. You'll see that. Whom do you seek? Jesus keeps asking, and, and, and some will say, Jesus of Nazareth, or the teacher. I'm, I'm seeking the teacher. I'm seeking the, the rabbi. All of those. But remember, why is Jesus asking that question? What do you really desire? What do you really want? You want to know yourself 
As a creator, you want to know yourself as source. You want to know yourself as that I am awareness. That's why it said in Matthew 6.33, first seek the kingdom of God and his righteousness. And all these, thing, all these things shall be added to you. That's your power. Whom do you seek? Right? Jesus asking that question. Right? <laughs> Whom do you seek? So there's nothing wrong with enjoying new processes techniques and success stories. I want to be very clear. Those are fun. Those are part of our journey of this, that we call a journey, right? The journey's ended, but with our eternal beingness, right? Our physical experience. It's part of our physical unfolding. It's part of our physical experience to enjoy these processes and techniques. And, and I have many videos on processes and techniques and even steps and many success stories. But what's behind all of those videos? What's behind all of those processes and techniques or success stories that I talk about? Pointing back to you as the source, as the creator, right? As the one and only source and creator of your life experience. It's always another way to see yourself as source. And it doesn't matter what you see or feel or think or do, as Jesus said to his disciples, no matter what you see or feel or think or do, but unless you're already aware, hear this, aware and conscious of already being and having that which you desire to be and have, it will seem hot and cold. It will seem hit or miss. It will seem yes or no, or good or bad, or right or wrong, manifesting and then not manifesting. That will be the experience. Unless you're already aware, unless you just say the word, unless you're already aware of being that person you desire to be. Jesus said it many times. He used that word unless, <laughs> right? Or at least that's the translated version, right? In the scripture. Unless you believe that I am he, that I am the creator, that I am the source of everything that I want, that I'm one with God. Unless you are converted and become like little children and little children knowing that they create in a, what they imagine and assume and create is their reality. Being connected to that allness of, of source knowing themselves as in that magical state. Unless one is born again, Jesus says it, just say the word, unless, unless, unless. I am that which I desire, imagine, assume, and affirm myself to be, no matter what. No matter what appears, no matter how much time seems to pass, right? No matter what others are doing or saying, no matter what I see, feel, think, or do. I'm in my imagined end no matter what. We, we had that discussion about time going by and not in deadlines and all of that. None of that matters. Seek first the kingdom. Just say the word. That's the simplest, fastest, and most direct way to manifest anything you want. I am your host, Tom Karen, and this is the Be Something Wonderful studio of higher consciousness where we help you level up and become the best version of yourself. Creators, thank you. Thank you for being with me. Thank you for liking and sharing and commenting on the videos. Thank you for being part of our Facebook group, The Ambassadors, at facebook.com slash groups slash Be Something Wonderful. For joining us on Instagram and Twitter, Tom Karen, our TikTok at Be Something Wonderful. And for being part of our membership channel, we just released a big <laughs> whopping video this morning on the Be Something Wonderful membership channel. Some of you who are members are already commenting on it. Thank you. It was a big one. Um, and also, don't forget, the end of this month, July 28th, 2024, at 9 a.m. Pacific Time, USA, I'm going to have a live event, a live stream, and that, our seventh live stream of the year, exclusively on the Be Something Wonderful membership channel. Keep sending your comments and questions and topics to info at besomethingwonderful.com that we're going to talk about on that Sunday morning at the end of this month on that live stream. I'll also, as I've always done, or I I've been doing especially the last few live events, answering your questions in the chat during the live stream. <clears throat> if you're a member, join us. If you're not, check out the link below. Creators with great love, with great light, and infinite gratitude. This is Tom Karen here in the studios of Be Something Wonderful. Until next time, we'll see you soon.